Alright, so back with an unboxing. And I do apologize in advance if my voice sounds like crap because <clears throat> I sort of have a sore throat. Not too bad. But putting that aside, got another one here to unbox. And this is actually a pretty sought out figure nowadays and pretty hard to find. So I was lucky to find someone I was selling here. And they're pretty, you have to pay pretty much a premium price for them since they're out of production. But the whole line's pretty good, so, yep. So, maybe you know from the title already. This is from Ayuka Rayu Samurai Girls. If I, don't, I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. I actually watched the anime recently, a few weeks ago. And gotta say, it's pretty interesting. A lot of edgy, pretty much. But, the visual, the visuals, are pretty damn good. Kinda has, has like a similar to Okami. You guys know that game from the Wii. Pretty interesting. It's kind of like water art, sort of, or cell shit mix. <clears throat> but anyways, I like it. So this is just a <clears throat> this is now, and she's actually sort of depicted, depicted as the dumb chick or the annoying chick in the series. I actually like her. I think she's charming. But whatever, putting that aside. It's not too big. <clears throat> and you can see that. I think there's a camera. So, I don't really care about the box. To be honest, I know it's already damaged. So, there she is. <coughs> a lot bigger than I thought. <clears throat> see if we get a better angle. Just the camera. Alright, so here's a sort of a better view. So, we got the box here. Too spectacular. Okay. Sorry about the glare on the lights. So this is off by Alter, <clears throat> and they have they do have a whole line of the series, which is awesome. I do plan on hoping to collect all of them. So this is my first in the series. Let's get this open. I have, I have heard some issues about her hammer starting to lean or fall or something like that. Let's see how that goes. Big. Holy crap. So, first off, we got the instruction manual. Could definitely need that. How to set up the hammer and such. There we go. Nothing too crazy. Next off, take it so. So, we'll take a quick look and then a more detailed look in my review. Alright, first off, we have the base. Very simple. I'm not too crazy about the base. It's whatever's. It's nice to add. Added like just the flowers. Yeah, flowers and the logo. But other than that, not, <laughs> other than that, nothing special. Oh, a little piece here. I don't know. It looks like the bottom of the hammer. Seems like. But then I have this that. <clears throat> Alright. So, looks like she's gonna be propped up by this plastic, clear plastic thing. Pole for the hammer. I wish they wouldn't win like a metal rod, similar to the Azuka flavor. Flavor, excuse me, the figure. But, anyways, the hammer. Wow, it's actually really nice detail. Very light. Not too heavy. I mean, it has a decent weight to it, but it's, it's a lot lighter than I thought. So far, very detailed, and I'm pretty happy so far. We got the chain. Kind of a flexy material. That's pretty interesting. And now, last but not least, we have now. Actually, we have a few more. Nope, never mind. This is her rope. Or I believe it's called Toga. I don't know, I could be right on that. So, <clears throat> there you go. The author did an excellent job on this line. Pretty popular nowadays. And they're announcing a second season this year, so I'm pretty excited about that. So, there you go. That's now from Hanika Ryan Samurai Girls. And I'll see you guys in the review.